Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking you to the canalization of Paris. I hope you survive until the end of this episode. So, on you are. Today we visit the bowels of Paris, or precisely its sewers. First imagine, as recent as 17th century, Paris used to be a cesspool. The waste was thrown out on the streets and each household could only spend a few liters of water a day. The capital would have to wait until 19th century and its technological advances to build a proper network of sewers underground, a city under the city. So the pool behind me is actually used even today. The way it works is that it's a little smaller than the canal and what happens is that it moves around with the current and it moves all the garbage with it, particularly the sand that is collecting at the bottom of the canals. So basically you cannot just jump into a canal and be okay with it. You mean you might come across a thing like this. And fun fact, all the metros are under this canalization. So if something happens, the metro can be flooded with full of all the garbage. You can't imagine it just now we will go further. This is actual canonization. It's not, it is a museum, but at the same time, it's the canonization of party. So it's, that's, it's still functioning. Today, the sewers include 2,600 kilometers of galleries and holes, through which more than 300 million cubic meters of rainwater and wastewater pass each year. Circulating through this unitary and gravity network, they are collected, redirected, to then be pumped, sucked towards power stations where they will be treated and purified. Oh my god, I don't think I can walk now. I can see all the shit going down, it's just terrible. Oh my god. Can you show this? It's just scary. <laughs> That's why you wear a turtleneck. So this time we correspond to the building that we are under at the moment. So it's just crazy how each street has specific canalization. Thanks to the tours carried out by the sewer workers themselves, visitors are guided in security. During these visits, one could hear, see and smell the waste in its glory. The museum is educative and gives a good idea of yet another side of Paris. It is a tiny window into the underground world of the capital. So I think we are we're going out now. You know, in the reviews they wrote that the smell is not that strong. I'm sorry, for me it's strong. Yeah, I, I can't feel it in my throat, by the way. At the back of your throat. Yeah. But it's, it's not mal. It's not so bad. But the good thing is they have a toilet that's nearby. I'm gonna go use it now. <laughs> We're gonna go and try and find a boulangerie now. We wanna go and check the Italian one. There is an Italian boulangerie that's really, really nice. Patisserie, actually, it's not a boulangerie. Yeah. So let's go and have a look. Sinan is complaining that he just paid 20 euro almost to enter sewage, yeah. pretty much. Well, um, it's 18 euro actually, it's not 20, that's one. Well, overall it was a stinky but nice experience. Stinky but nice? Yeah. Wow. So it was a stinky but nice experience. There is a guide who speaks French and explains everything, how it functions and everything. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it would be bored, but at the end I spent one and a half hours. And what about you? Oh, <laughs> it's where where this? You know, this <laughs> saved me because I knew it was gonna smell, uh, and uh, 
what I did is that I put perfume on my turtleneck <laughs> and I just covered it in the worst places and you know what? It worked, no? It worked. It was perfect. It worked really well. But on the other hand, I, I like this visit. Yeah, it's Because nice. I think it's interesting. But it's nice to be out. Yeah. Fresh air. And you know... <laughs> Fresh air. That's what we needed, actually. Yeah, and you know what's, what's good is that uh, you really appreciate people who work there. Yeah. He said that the life expectancy of people who work it's is like 10 terrible. years less. Yeah. And um, so difficult. thanks to everybody who is working all over the world in the sewage. Uh, it's really appreciated. People shouldn't forget about it. Um, we are looking for the patisserie. The one we wanted to go to closes in like less than an hour. So we're going to go and find something else. Yeah. I don't even know how we are hungry. I'm not even hungry. I just want something I nice. Have, yes. Because it's like at the back of my throat is just... Ugh. Anyway, let's go. So I just got milfoy and Anton got... I don't know what he got. It's very fresh. Unfortunately, they didn't have any seats. We couldn't sit there, but yeah. So we just sat down next to Eiffel Tower and we are just enjoying the view. And I'm having um, mocha. It's called mocha, so it's like something with cafe, with coffee and uh, chocolate. 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 <laughs> you see, this is what happens when you want to speak two languages <clears throat> at the same time. You mix up all of the uh, sounds. Yeah, so mine is a little bit it's a little bit creamy not a little bit it's very creamy and it's very heavy i think so i'm gonna have to run like crazy tomorrow you see look it's crazy so this is how i utilize the plastic i'm still young so 26 i live in urban so urban okay Next one, I utilize plastic never, a bit, a lot, crazy, for me a, a bit I would say. Okay, so the next one, perfect timing. So thank you so much for joining us today, we hope that you like our episode, and if you like this episode then you will definitely like this episode. And until next week, au revoir.